In this video, we're going to be taking a look on pages Access 28 and 29, in which we're going to use the query wizard. A query answers a question about the information in the database. A query allows you to select a subset of fields and records from one or more tables and to present the selected data in a single data sheet. A major benefit of working with data through a query is that you can focus on only the specific information you need to answer a question, rather than navigating through all the fields and records from many large tables. You can enter, edit, and navigate data in a query data sheet just like a table data sheet. However, keep in mind that access data is physically stored only in tables. Even though you can select, view, and edit it through other access objects such as queries and forms. Because a query doesn't physically store the data, a query data sheet is sometimes called a logic or a logical view of the data. Technically, a query is a set of SQL or structured query language instructions. But because you can use access query tools such as Query Design View to create and modify the query, you are not required to know SQL to build or use access queries. Now the first thing you want to do is, is that you want to go ahead, and this will uh, go through step one on here, is that you want to open up the uh, Quest Travel B uh, access database. And of course you want to do that from the Content Area Access B folder uh, from Course Sites. Once you have it open, you want to make sure that you enable the content uh, on here. And now we have our uh, database open. Now, Access provides several tools to create a new query. And one way is to use the simple query wizard, which will prompt you for the information it needs to create a new query. Now, to do this, we move on to step two, which it tells us that we want to click on the Create tab on the ribbon. Then next, we click the Query Wizard button in the Queries group. So here's our Queries group, and here's the Query Wizard button right here. After that, it tells us to then click OK to start the Simple Query Wizard. Now there is some other wizards that's available there, but we're just going to utilize the Simple Query Wizard for this video. Now the Simple Query Wizard dialog box opens up and it prompts you to select the fields you want to view in the new query. You can select fields from one or more existing tables or queries and of course each one of those you uh, utilize from this drop down box and there's our tables and there's our queries uh, that's on here and you can scroll through there and of course here is the list of available fields and of course our selected fields are going to be listed over here. In step three it tells us that we want to click the tables queries list arrow and that's this list arrow right here and it tells us that we want to click the tables tours so we're going to click on this item right here and then it tells us that we want to double click the tour name and of course when we double click the tour name or we can click this little arrow right here that moves us from the available fields and it puts it into the selected fields then next we want to move over the city we're also going to move over the category as well. And then finally we're going to move over the price. So what we've done is, is that we've put these items into our selected field. So these things are going to be into our query. So, so far you've selected these four fields from the tours table to display basic tour information in this query. You will also want to add the first and last name information from the customers table so you know which customers purchased each tour. And to do this, we need to move on to step four. And to do that, we need to go back and click the tables list or tables queries list arrow. And we need to go to the tables customers. And we have to scroll up a little bit to get to the very top. And there's the tables customers. And then we want to add in the F name, which is the first name. And then we want to double click or click on the arrow over here for the L name or the last name. Now of course if you added in another name or if you've added in a field maybe such as street and uh, you don't want that on there you can always use this arrow over here and that is the left pointing arrow and that will remove um, that single field uh, from the selected field list and of course these arrows that's on here of course the single arrow moves one field from the available to the selected 
If you use the double arrow, that's going to take all of the available fields from this list and put it into the selected list. And of course, uh, likewise, with the left pointing arrows, the single one will take the individual selected field that you have highlighted and it will move that back to the available fields. And of course, the double arrows will remove everything from the selected list and uh, would clear that list out. Now that we've selected uh, on here uh, the, the four fields from the tours table and then of course the first name and the last name from the customers table for our new query, we're ready to move on to step five and that tells us that we want to click next. And then of course it asks us would we like to see a detail or a summary query and in this case we do want to see our detail so we're going to click on next. And then it asks us what do we want to title uh, for our query to be. So we're going to select the tours query because it gave us a default title here, but we don't want this to be the tours query. So we want to select the tours query in the title text box, and we're going to type in tour customer list. Now, um, generally, um, you don't put spaces between uh, the different words when you're naming uh, an access object. It's kind of a customary to do that. Now you could do that uh, on there, but uh, you'll find out that the textbook uh, will generally suggest that you don't do that. And that's just for uh, some purposes on there, especially when you're working with databases, a lot of time it likes to keep everything all together. So a lot of times spaces are kind of bad. Uh, so I would get into the practice of not utilizing spaces in there. But however, you could do that if you wanted to. But for our purposes, let's use no spaces in our tour customer uh, list uh, that's on there. So we have our tour customer list there. And once we have that, we're going to open the query to view the information and we're going to click on finish. Once we do that, the tour customer list data sheet will open and it displays four fields um, on there from the tours table and two from the customers table, which you see on your screen right now. And the query can show which customers have purchased which tours because of the one to many relationships table established in the relationships window. So if your screen looks like this, you're good to go and you're ready to move on to the next video uh, in which we're going to be discussing um, working with data in a query.